All right, so here we're going to go over some of the responses of cells to different osmotic environments. Remember, osmosis is the diffusion of water across a semi-permeable membrane. So we're going to be looking at solutes in solution. And remember, solutes, um, we usually talk about them as salts although they can be sugar and ever other things as well, okay? And so uh, we're going to be looking at what happens um, when we have differing uh, concentrations of solutes in cells. And we're going to be looking at two types of cells, okay? So we're going to be looking at cells with a cell wall, all right? So cells with a cell wall, and we're going to be looking at cells without a cell wall. All right, so for example, cells with a cell wall, if you will remember, are going to be things like bacteria. Bacteria can have cell walls and plants. All right, so uh, cells without a cell wall, I'm going to try to move this up so it will be a little bit closer. Sorry about all these cords. I'm trying to get this done in my office here. Okay, so... No, now you can't see the whole paper. Mm -hmm. Cells without a cell wall, cell wall are going to be different types of things like animal cells. Okay, One more time to get that straight where you can see the whole paper. Animal cells, okay. And of course, that will include us. All right. So um, we're going to have three types of environments here. Um, we're going to have isotonic and iso means the same. Okay, so isotonic means the same. We are going to have and tonic, by the way, let's put that over here. Tonic is referring to the solution. All right, so isotonic is the same. We're going to be looking at isotonic environments for with a cell wall and isotonic, how it affects cells without a cell wall. We're going to look at hypotonic. And what does hypo mean? Hypo means below. So this is where it's going to be lower. So the tonic, the solution, will have a lower concentration of solutes, right? And so this is going to be hypotonic. All right, and then we're going to look at hypertonic. Oops, go back to Y. Hypertonic. And if hypo means below, hyper means above. And that's an up arrow if you can't see that. Okay, hypo means above. And so down here we also have hypertonic. And so solutes can be different things. They can be proteins. They can be salts. They can be sugars. Okay. And so in this first section here, we're going to be looking at isotonic solutions. All right. And the effect on the cell. And so in this little picture here, oh, I'm going to give her something to label this with. Red, red, lots and lots of red. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to use red. This would be the cell wall. And this would be the plasma membrane, okay? On these cells, all we have is the plasma membrane, okay? And this is going to be the genetic material. This will be the nucleus, okay? So um, our solutes we're going to put in. So an isotonic, if iso means the same, it means we have the same amount of solutes or the same concentration of solutes both in the cell, which is the intracellular environment. So these are going to represent our solutes. So we can say this is 6% concentration. Okay, that's a little percent sign there. And this would be the extracellular fluid or the extracellular environment. And we will also, since it is the same, need to have 6% concentration of solutes in the extracellular environment, all right? And so here we're going to say the solute is equal, all right? Equal to the amount of water or equal to the uh, solution, I should say. All right. And then the water is going to flow in and out at an equal rate. 
because remember, water follows salt. Water is going to diffuse to the area that has a higher concentration of solutes. Well, here, there is no higher concentration of solutes, okay? It's equal, it's isotonic. So it's going to go in and out and have, we're gonna have no net, net flow. So water can move in and out, but it's gonna do so at an equal rate, okay? So H2O, no net flow, all right? And then, so what is the effect, okay? So the effect on the cell here, Okay, the effect is going to be the rate of osmosis is equal. Okay, so that's why we have no net flow. All right, so now let's look what happens when we have a hypotonic solution. Now, what did we say? Hypo meant, okay? Well, hypo, we said, um, is going to mean low. So the tonic or the solution is going to have a lower concentration of solutes. So here we may have one, two outside of the cell. Our solution is going to be 3%, okay? So where we're still going to have 6% inside the cell. So if we still have 6% inside the cell, the solute concentration is lower in the environment and higher in the cell, okay? So what is the water going to do? Well, water follows salt. So I've got a low concentration of salt or solute here and a higher concentration here. So water is going to enter the cell, okay? It's going to follow that high solute concentration and into enter the cell. So the net flow, or I should say the H2O flow, is going to be in. All right, and that's kind of on there twice, but that is okay. So the net flow is going to be in. Well, how is this going to affect the cell? Okay, so the effect is, well, if this is, is uh, going in, we're going to have water enter. It's going to swell, okay, but... Because we are in a cell with a cell wall, all right, so we're going to swell, the cell wall will prevent cytolysis, which means, hang on, the cell wall is going to prevent cytolysis, which basically means cell bursting, because the cell can rupture. Okay, but we have a cell wall if we're a bacterium or a plant, so we can prevent that. Okay, so now we're still talking about cells with a cell wall. And so now we'll look at the hypertonic solution, which means above. Okay, so what is above? Well, the percentage of solutes in the extracellular environment or the solution is going to be higher than that that is in the cell. So we're going to put three here in the cell. So 3% in the cell, and we'll make our 6%, and these numbers are just made up. They don't really mean anything. We just want to show that the extracellular environment is higher. And I kind of wrote oh, two space, but that's okay. So the solute concentration is higher in the environment, okay, and lower in the cell. So what is going to happen to the water? Well, the water is going to do what? It's going to go from low to high solute concentration. So water is going to leave the cell. And you can see here, this plasma membrane is going to um, shrivel up. Okay, so remember, this is the cell wall. And this is the plasma membrane. So the water is going to leave the cell. The net flow is going to be out. All right. And what effect will this have? Well, this is going to cause that mem membrane, sorry, to um, pull away. I forgot to put effect right here. And we call that plasmolysis. Okay. So the effect is going to be to create plasmolysis okay and that means the membrane pulls away
from that cell wall. Okay, so how are these processes different in uh, animal cells or cells like ours that do not have a cell wall? Okay, and I'm also going to add uh, a few little sentences here about what is going to be favorable. Okay, so here I have isotonic again. So what does that mean? My solutes are going to be equal inside and outside the cell. So outside of the cell, I have 6%. Inside of the cell, I have 6%. I'm going to have equal rates of water going in and out the cell. Okay, so this is good for cells. This will create a cell with a stable environment. Okay, so the effect is a stable environment. This is good for cells. Now, what is our added information? Well, if it's good for cells that are cells without a cell wall or eukaryotes, those are going to be also good for parasites, which is not good for us. But this is favorable for parasites. Parasites like to live in isotonic conditions. Okay. So next we have the hypotonic, all right? So hypotonic means what? It's lower outside of the cell. So I've got our three little solutes there and higher inside the cell, okay? And so that net flow of water is going to be going from low to high. Remember, water's going where the higher solute concentration is because that actually means there's less water here, okay? Um, so it's kind of hard to think about that. But you got to remember that water is following the, the salt, so the higher salt, okay? And this is going to actually cause this cell to rupture. We do not have that cell wall to help us. So the effect is we can have, it's going to swell and cause cyto cell lysis and lysis meaning rupture okay now bacteria remember they have a cell wall so slightly hypotonic is actually good for bacteria okay so slightly hypotonic is good or favorable for bacteria and i've covered up our little dots there but that's okay all right Let's do another one down here where we can see it. So we know there's three. Okay. All right. So lastly, we will look at the hypertonic solution here. Okay. And so this is going to be the opposite. So we're going to have a higher concentration of solute outside the cell and a lower concentration inside the cell. So what is the water going to do here? Well, it's going to go to the higher concentration of solutes and it's going to leave the cell and cause that cell to shrivel up to shrink and distort and we call that crenation so here we have plasmolysis here we have crenation okay and that is where the cell can shrink and distort and why is that bad well, remember, structure determines function. So if the structure is changed, the function can be changed. Now, this, if we're talking about microbes, is a limiting factor for bacteria, meaning they don't do well in this, is this environment, okay? This is why salt works. So remember the slugs. We pour salt on a slug, it is going to dry out, it's going to pull that water out of the slug and kill it. Okay, so this is why we often use salt to preserve meats because it can kill or at least inhibit bacterial growth where that salt is because it's going to pull the water out. So that's good for us. Okay, so that is the uh, essay template, so to speak, here. Okay. Um, for cell responses to osmotic environments 
everything on here is expected. Uh, if you want to put more details, like explain more about why SALT works, that can be extra credit, okay? Um, so I hope that is helpful.